So my name is Simon Murphy, I'm a photographer based in Glasgow and the project that I've been working on just now is based in a little area of the south side of Glasgow called Govan Hill. I've been shooting in Govan Hill properly this project for about two years but because I've lived in the area for a long long time, probably over the past 16 years actually, I've been making photographs here. I think this project's important to me. My photographic career so far, um, I used to shoot for a lot of magazines and now more than anything I travel and I teach as well. But when I'm doing these assignments abroad, I tend not to get a huge amount of time in the location. Whereas with Govan Hill, it's very close by and it's like art, artists say, it's like writers say, you know, if, if you ask a writer, what should you write about? It's, they'll say, well, write about what you know. And Govan Hill is, is what I know. I lived there for a long, long time. Um, I'm always in the area. I, I go down whenever I can. And I just find it fascinating. I find the people really interesting. When I go down, there's always something, always something that happens that's exciting or a little bit, I don't know, edgy or just, just interesting. So that's why the project's important. And, and Really, that's why I want to spend more time um, making it something quite special photographically. So this, we're just coming round to Langside Road. Um, I used to, I had a flat here in Langside Road. Just this one actually, uh, around the corner, number 80. And lived there just when I got married actually, so from about 26 for a good couple of years, and there are two memories of Langside Road this close here. Two main memories is old John, who lived next to us. I remember him getting carried out in a body bag. Uh, and the other thing was winning a year's supply of Mars bars from the evening times, uh, which it was way too much to eat, so I went up the close and gave all the neighbours a box of Mars bars. That was, that's my two main memories of, of living here in Langside Road. Number 80, flat. One, I think it was one, who is it? One, two maybe? I can't remember, I can't remember. So we're just going to head over to Govan Hill Park where there's a, a little procession on today. This is International Roma Day today, so I thought it'd be worth popping down to see if we can see anybody that might look quite interesting to photograph or just a bit of energy. So we'll head over there to Govan Hill Park. That's it. That's nice in the end. The time it takes me to load this film is where I miss all the shots. So I started shooting this project on, on film because I've always shot it in film. When I started really photographing in Govan Hill, uh, I was at college and that's what was available. I had a little dark room in my bedroom and I would shoot black and white, grainy tri -X, and it just felt natural to keep the project going in this way. Primarily I see myself as a portrait photographer. Um, when I got my first jobs in photography I was working for magazines. Um, the Herald in Glasgow I did a lot of photography for them so I was photographing musicians. I've always loved music so that was that for me was was tremendous. You know, I'd, I'd be photographing Bobby Gillespie from Primal Scream or Paolo Nottini. Um, also, I'd photograph actors. I, I photographed the Dalai Lama. So I really enjoy working with people. I mean, there's certain things that help make a good photograph, and that's the kind of the things that you learn when you first go to uh, photography school. So things like focus, things like exposure, and um, depth of field. But you know. All of that, all of that pales into insignificance when it comes to I th what I think is the most important thing in a photograph, and that is intimacy. Where are you moving from? Uh, from Porcel, but I'm originally from the south side, just going away and kind of get back. The south side? Oh, yeah.
Bring your head to the side. Which side was it before I looked? I think it was the The postcard idea came about. I suppose it's it's something that, in fact, it goes right back to when I used to work as a postman 20 years ago. I hadn't a clue what I wanted to do for a job and I was working in the post and just going, getting up early in the morning, walking about in silent streets, I would see the sun come up and it started to be thinking, oh, that'd make a nice, nice picture. And I hadn't taken any photographs ever. And then I remember distinctly delivering a lot of postcards and there was this particular postcard and it had the Beatles sitting on the stairs of Abbey Road, which I, I know that now, I didn't know then. And so they're sitting on the stairs of Abbey Road and I'm thinking, you know, how cool would it have been to just have been there with them? And it was a light bulb moment. It was suddenly dawned on me, well, actually someone else was there, the photographer. And in, in the post, you know, just the minds going all the time. And I'm thinking, you know, how great would it be to to be a photographer, to have been there with the Beatles, to have been there with the Rolling Stones, just to be part of that. And photography, I realised, was, was a ticket, a way to be part of that. And for that reason, um, going back to the postcards and going back to the post, it feels really natural that I continued to print in this way because I was very attracted to that format, that postcard right at the start, and, and still am. So I've decided just to, to print this, this whole project or this part of the Govan Hill project on postcards. It's actually a, a cafe. Just we're just coming up to a cafe here where I met a chap called Alan, who's a artist that did loads of album covers in the I think it was the sixties or the seventies. And so I remember meeting him in, in here one day, thinking he looked amazing and. Uh, Going up to his flat, photographing him. Same day, I met I met a chap called Carol, who he was sitting there and he looked like Mark Bolan. This a cafe here, milk cafe. And I thought, wow, you know, he's you know, he's amazing. So I asked if I could photograph him, and same thing, just went up to his flat and did, did the portraits there. Thanks. <laughs> Opportunist. Nice. My approach, I, I do, I photograph a lot of people. So there's, there's different ways that I go about that. There's not one rule that works. I tend to be as honest as possible. Um, try and communicate the idea that I have in the project. Some, some people I meet in cafes and I'll just approach them and tell them what I think of them. I think you look great. I'd love to photograph you. Um, would that be okay? Other people I meet in the street, um, depending who that person is, I've, I've never been one for you know, shooting from the hip, kidding on or hiding my camera. I think it's very important that the camera's seen, for, for me anyway. So often that my camera is on show. If it's the medium format camera, I'm carrying it with me. Um, just, just so I'm ready, because it takes a while to set up. So I'm ready, if I meet someone, I'll photograph them. And I think the, the medium format camera helps a lot, because it's unusual. Uh, people notice it, they, th they wonder what it's about, and it's special. So to be photographed on a, a medium format camera is special. But even with the, the 35mm, when I'm just working a little bit quicker, I still try and establish a connection with the person. I'd love to get those little candid off moments, and sometimes I do, but it's rare. Uh, I really have to to connect with with my subject. Me one time do a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. Yeah. The <laughs> end. <laughs> I'm so small. Nice. So there's a there's a really important photograph um, that I that I made round about the year I think it was two thousand round about the millennium and when I was at college I used to to get the the night bus 
down to London and then get a bus over to Paris. Uh, it, it wouldn't cost a lot, I didn't have any money anyway, so I'd just be eating as cheap as possible. But when I went over to Paris, I was always trying to get photographs, you know, traditional masters of photography like Cartier-Bresson. And there was one time where I was walking and I walked past this bar and sitting in the bar was this woman, she, I saw her on the side of my eye, corner of my eye, and she's sitting in this bar with this little glass of wine and I walked by the bar but I could not get this, this figure, this person out of my head. But I was too scared to go back. I was too scared to go into the bar and to, I, I didn't speak French, so I, I couldn't communicate. Um, so I didn't know what to do, but I knew that I had to go back. And it really taught me, that photograph is, is so important to me because it taught me a great lesson in persistence and making yourself take the photograph, not doubting yourself and just going and doing it regardless. I went into the bar, ordered a beer, I knew the French for that, and I popped my camera down, which was a medium format camera, I popped it on the, the bar itself and I started winding the film. Clunk! I took a photograph of this lady and everybody in the bar immediately looked up because of the how loud the shutter of the camera was. But I just picked it up, you know, brought it to my ear and I'm kind of, ah, it's not working. Your universal language for, for broken. And I popped it back down, wound on again, clunk. And I took another shot. And um, eventually I, I went to the toilet. The barman didn't look too happy. So I went to the toilet. I took the film out the back of the camera. And when I came out, the barman stopped me and he said, you know, are you taking photographs? I think that's what he said. And I said, no, no, no. Um, and I showed him the back of the camera, no film, but that particular image, it's so important to me because every time that I have a moment of self-doubt, and that can happen in street photography, sometimes you're just not feeling it. But I think about that moment, I think about that little woman in Paris and that photograph, and it always gives me the, the kind of spur that I need to go and just do it, just do it.